Welcome, online drifters. I'm Hijinx, a new VTuber with a small channel. Stick around and watch the sideshow. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. Stellar Blade for PS5 has been catching flack. If you've been on the internet for a while, you may have become tone deaf or just deaf from people attacking gaming from politician, journalists, and roaming Twitter mobs. It seems like Sony folds like toilet paper to censor games for a North American audience based on outside pressures from those not even buying or playing the game. How dare fan service be included? You cannot give fans what they like, including athletic main characters. If you do that, more will buy the product and sales will go up. Apparently, that's not how you run a modern business. I'm interested in how Stellar Blade will turn out. Uh, apparently, Eve, the main character, is an unattainable body image, even though it was based off a real Korean model. Games and escape is form of play usually undertaken for entertainment or fun, is under attack and risks being sacrificed to the censor gods. Those screaming the loudest are now ignored by most, so they move to directly attacking fans and gamers with the now watered-down sexist, phobic, etc. labels as they try to take the freedom from creators so they can control and create their safe, modern games for you. DEI, sensitivity readers, image consultants, are plaguing the game industry. Pretending to be fans, they are among us. Sound a little too out there? Maybe censorship is okay if it makes some feel better. And it's not too bad. Maybe stay quiet and they won't call you names or attack you. Let's say, for example, pictured in the middle, a real-world fit Korean female, and to the left, Eve, the game model based on her, in Stellar Blade, may cause psychological harm for unrealistic body standards. Possible solutions? Lower right. Let's add 50 to 100 pounds to the model, or cover the model in baggy, oversized clothes, as in Horizon Forbidden West. Or solution 2, upper right in Fable 4. Inject the female model with enough testosterone, and then make it look like a man. There, sanitized for modern audience, and is now psychologically safe. Some will say they were just adding in realistic characters and improving games. We can see it in Aloy in Zero Dawn vs. Forbidden West, the safe, sanitized, DEI modern improvement shown on the right, ready to import into your new games. The one on the left is in the past and is problematic, thus the change. Another example in Fable 3 vs. Fable 4 main, some say they can't tell the difference. Pause here and see if you can spot the modern empowered woman character. The DEI heroine was hiding on the right with enough testosterone to defeat the male gaze and make Arnold jealous. Is this the new modern and safe way to make fun, entertaining, fantastical, and escapist games you want to buy? Would you rather play as Jabba the Hutt or even Stellar Blade? Actually, I find the modern models are fine and can be amusing to play, but telling gamers one is unacceptable and needs to be censored and then attacking gamers for disagreeing shows a rotten core seeping into the culture and gaming. It needs to be identified and pushed back. Do note the UK has passed an online safety bill, a 250-page legal doc, according to Electronic Frontier Foundation. 
This bill has been criticized for legal authorizations, for additions and changes on websites, and even authorizing jail time for anyone whose social media can cause psychological harm. Holy tits, like say an attractive video game model. Coming soon to your country, jail time for problematic video games? It's up to you. (laughs) Mm-hmm. <laughs>